what we have experienced during the moving battle conducted to defend the life of little Alfie Evans, the little great hero who now lives in the Father's heart, who has shown to the world of goodwill how sacred life is. How alive in the innocent is the desire to fight to live, must leave a mark in the conscience of many. His life was not useless. It was a living sign of the Father's love, which, through this his son, our brother, the great martyr of the Church of Christ, has shaken the consciences of many, who have become insensitive to life, who have died to life, for the consciences of the doctors who treated him, and the judges who sentenced him, the best interest for Alfie was to die. So they decided and so they did. In their tyranny and cruelty, Alfie's life had become useless. The doctors have ruled that without the machinery, Alfie would not have lived more than 15 minutes. Since that April 23rd, from 22.17, Alfie has lived more than a hundred hours. The father intervened, and he wanted to give the world the opportunity to understand and redeem itself. No man can decide the end of life of another man. Do not kill God commanded. Children must be left free to live, to run. Keeping a child without water and without food for dozens of hours is pure cruelty. The therapeutic obstinacy has nothing to do with it. Holding a child prisoner and your parents in a hospital room is not making the best interest of the child, it is tyranny. Many play with words, they hide behind words, to hide other truths that cannot be made manifest. Yesterday, the Roman Pontiff said that it is necessary to know how to create synergies between people and institutions, this he was able to say, implicitly confirming the statements of the head of the Pontifical Academy of Life, that in recent days had said that to save Alfie an agreement between all, a covenant of love between parents, family members and health workers was needed. But what kind of love and what covenant of love are we talking about? Between parents, health workers and judges? The alliance with those who condemn to death an innocent child without showing a shred of pity? Is this the solution? When we must defend a primary value, like that of life, we fight with all our strength. 